Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I have not filmed a video in a really long time, but I really, really am going to try to get back into the routine of uploading videos every single week. So I thought I would just go ahead and kick it off with a classic video, just my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> Last night, I decided to dye my hair this really dark, like auburn brown. So I am looking a little like extra pale right now. <laughs> Today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to get this look, which is just my everyday makeup look. Um, I'll wear this to class if I feel like doing my makeup for class or just anytime I want to wear makeup, this is just kind of my go-to look. Pretty uh, simple and easy. It normally takes me like 10, maybe 15 minutes to do. Best part about it is I use all drugstore products. Uh, well, mm, never mind. I was gonna say it's all drugstore, but I actually use one of the Naked palettes. But other than the eyeshadow, everything else I use is drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just go ahead and get on with it. So I'm starting out today's look by applying the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation all over my face with my Real Techniques uh, like Beauty Blender. I love this foundation. It does a great job of covering up my redness, which is the main issue that I have with my skin, just how red it gets, especially in the winter. And it also gets super dry in the winter. And I found that this foundation is my all-time favorite um, when it comes to solving those two issues. This foundation does a great job of making my face look very hydrated and dewy and just giving it a very natural finish so it doesn't look like I have just tons of makeup caked on my face. But yeah, I go ahead and blend that all over my face, making sure that I get it blended very evenly, especially uh, down my neck so that it all looks very natural. So for concealer, I'm using my all-time favorite uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It is such a cult favorite. But yep, I go ahead and do the triangles underneath each of my eyes to cover up my dark under eye circles. And then I go to the sides of my nose where I have some more redness and then especially around my mouth where I have uh, more redness. So yes, I just apply this and then I go in again with my Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender and just blend everything out. If I were doing this makeup for a night out, I would go ahead and bake everything, but since this is just my everyday makeup look, I just leave it how it is. I don't even set it with a powder since I have such dry skin. Um, sometimes I'll spray it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that's enough. It'll last throughout the day. So moving on to my eyes, I always like to start out with an eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've been trying this out recently, trying to look for a good drugstore eyeshadow primer and I've got to say I really like that one. I'm using the Naked 2 palette for uh, my eyeshadow look today. So I'm starting out with Tease, which is a nice matte brown shade, and I go ahead and put that all over my lid and I work it up into my crease to create a nice base for this eyeshadow look that I'm doing. Once that's all blended in, I go in with Suspect, which is this gorgeous shimmery tan color, and I just go ahead and I put that all over my lid to add some light to the look and kind of brighten it up a little bit. Finally, I take Blackout, which is a matte uh, black shade, and I take that on a wet liner brush, and I go ahead and use that to line my eyes. I really like doing my eyeliner this way because first, it's just so much easier than liquid eyeliner, and second, it just looks way more natural, it gives you kind of that natural, like, smoky look to your eyes. I go ahead and take whatever is left on my brush and I go ahead and put that on my lower lash line just to add some definition to my eyes down there as well. Next I'm taking my Rimmel uh, Scandalized Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm putting that in my upper tight line, trying not to poke out my eye, but yeah this is another great way to add definition to your eyes without it looking too crazy, like it's a very natural way to do it. I'm going in with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. This is my all-time favorite eyelash curler. And then I'm going in with my all-time favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. Um, I always use waterproof mascara because my eyelashes have such a hard time holding a curl, so using waterproof really helps my mascara and my curl last throughout the day. I don't always fill in my eyebrows, but when I do, I use this little Maybelline basic like eyebrow pencil thing and I'll just fill them in just a little bit, add a little bit more definition. 
Uh, for our today's highlight, I'm using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, which is a great everyday highlight. It looks very natural, just adds a nice little glow to the skin, which is really good, especially when it's cold outside and you have dry skin like I do. Finally, I'm putting on this light pink lipstick by Maybelline, and the look is complete. Super easy, super natural, just my everyday makeup look. That is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will be uploading videos every single week starting this week. So make sure you subscribe so you can get notified next time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!